Welcome back to Poems and Stories to Remember. Hi, dreamers. Today we will begin with the announcements. And I have a post-Mother's Day treat um, that I'm going to read along with the acrostic that I'm going to read today. Now, if you read in the comments in the previous video, because of uh, Mother's Day and the fact that I had stuff I had to take care of, I was not able to record the video on Sunday, so I made the video uh, recording for uh, Wednesday, which is today. So I'm going to start off with the acrostics. Um, I'm going to go from the acrostic to finishing up with self-love, positive affirmations, and I may do some empowering questions. I do want to make the announcement, this is the month of May. And the last two people I pulled was Miss Key and Kurt Wilson. I am only going to do the acrostic for Miss Key uh, today. I will do Kurt Wilson's on the following video. And that video should be uploading on Sunday. Okay. Uh, just to do a recap, starting from the last week of this month, which is May, I will uh, be putting the codes for everyone who's comment in that month in that last video. So you want to comment in the last video. It's easier for me if you comment in that last video so you can get your codes. So that way I'm not all over the place trying to put place codes, okay? And then that code you will use for your new subscribers when you bring them to the channel. They're going to need to subscribe and comment with your code in order to for it to count for you for our Dream Team Challenge, okay? And that Dream Team Challenge is in June. Then we have the Tag Challenge coming up in July where I will choose two people for the month of July. Uh, and they will get chosen by a flying money, a dollar sign flying money. That's how you know you've been chosen. Also, uh, anyone who's still interested in uh, uh, purchasing merchandise, I need you to send me that email confirming that you're interested so that we can set up the arrangements for you to get your merch and for um, me to also get the money. Uh, I have left my email in the description and my cash app is being placed in the description box. And again, for anyone who doesn't want to purchase merch but you would like to leave a donation, you can feel free to do so. Like I said, my cash app will be there. Okay, so we're going to start off today and I wanted to say happy belated Mother's Day. I did say happy Mother's Day in the comment, but I, I'm really sorry that I didn't get around to doing that video so I could have done the other thing. So what I'm gonna do is I wanted to start off with the uh, post day Mother's Day thing. My um, son, well my sons, because uh, three of my sons, I have a total of five, but three of my, my boys, um, actually gave me poet, poetry that they wrote themselves and I wanted to read, I wanted to share one of them to sh just to show you um, that the gift was passed down from me to my um, children. So I'm going to share one from one of my sons and this is what he, he wrote for me for Mother's Day. And mother is always with you. She's the whisper of the leaves as you walk down the street. She's the smell of bleach in your freshly laundered socks. She's the cool hand on your brow when you're not well. Your mother lives inside your laughter. She's crystallized in every teardrop. She's the place you came from, your first home. She's the map you follow with every step that you take, and nothing on earth can separate you. Not time, not space. Not even death will ever separate you from your mother. You carry her inside of you always. And I, I really love this. This is a really nice poem. I told him I was going to keep the original and I'm going to actually type this up and put it in a book. And this is my, um, my youngest son wrote this for me. And um, right away when he wrote his very first poetry to me, I seen he had the gift um, to write. So... I wanted to share that with my um, dreamers. So I'm going to start off with Mrs. Key's acrostic. And if you remember, the acrostic is a style where you take the first letter. 
It can be of the uh, of a word that you're spelling out, and you can either write a poem or an actual writing. Mine is in a writing-based form where I'm giving out a message that will hopefully help that person. Um, like I said, my uh, channel is for inspiration, but also to give direction. So when I read these acrostic writings, it's giving you information that may assist you in it, whatever you're going through. You you're not, yourself know what you're going through. I'm getting it from the energy from when I'm writing. So if anything in here sounds like something that you actually are experiencing, I'm hoping that the advice that's given can assist you. Okay? So Miss K, she didn't send me her name, so I just figured she wanted me to do it off the energy. So I actually did it off of Miss N K, the, the full name that she uses on the, on the um in the comments on the channel. So M is for manipulation. A person that was in your energy is trying to manipulate you had been re remo has been removed to bring balance. You are asked to heal and balance your heart. Allow love to enter your life from a pure heart. I is for impatience. There is a feeling of discontent and boredom in your life that is keeping you stagnant. You're longing for change. Remember, you control your destiny. Put into action the change that you long for. S is for the star. Allow your light to shine as bright as the stars at night. In doing so, you will heal your any past pain and release any fear. Your wishes come can come true if you believe. S again is for success. All that is you is for you is yours. Focus on the qualities of hope, faith, aspirations, and enlightenment, and this will help you gain your success. Allow your intuition to guide you. K is for key. You are the key to your happiness. You have unlimited power at your command. You have the strength, willpower, courage, and compassion and love within you. The qualities you possess inside can assist you at any time. Recognize the power you possess. E is for expect. Expect changes in your life through the choices you make. You have many choices and opportunities waiting for you. Choose wisely. Why is for you. You can obtain the wealth, prosperity, and financial independence you desire with a solid plan. Journal your dreams, your goals, short and long term. Focus on what your heart desires and come from a place of positivity and watch your dreams become reality. Set them in stone by journaling them. And that's something that I've been told, telling my dreamers for a while. It's important to journal, you know, your dreams, your goals, anything that you're pursuing, you want to journal it to set it in stone. And then once you achieve that goal, when you do a short term or a long term goal, once you achieve that, cross that out. And what I normally do is I'll start off with 10. I might do five short term, five long term. Once I meet those requirements, usually if I meet three out of uh, out of the five, um, then I'll take, get rid of that paper, start anew, and then move those up. Whatever hasn't been achieved will be moved up on the list, and I'll add two more. So that was the acrostic and the post-Mother's Day treat. And now I would like to get to self-love. I was told to do self-love today, so I'm going to do give my dreamers some self-love. Now, dreamers, you know the routine. I... Shuffle until I get the energy of the cards for my dreamers. Anyone new watching, you can subscribe and always comment. This comment by commenting, it keeps you in the mix for any of my incentives and cash giveaways. Okay? If you like my content, please give me a thumbs up. Click the like button. And... The notification bell if you would like to see future videos. Please provide self-love for my dreamers and anyone who's watching, please. I'm going to get a couple more. Self-love, please. Okay. And then we're going to do some positive affirmations on top of that. And I'm just going to grab everything out first and then I'll 
go over everything. Positive affirmations, please. Do we have any? Oh, it's trying to be a little different. Positive affirmations for my dreamers. And anyone new watching, please. I'll take them because they slipped in my hand. And then final ones is the smaller positive affirmations. And we'll get a couple of these. Thank you. So we're going to start off with some self-love. I rejoice in my creative energy. Remember we talked about using your creative um, energy, your creative gifts for... Um, to inspire others um, like I do. I use my poetry and stuff to inspire others to do so. If you have something that you do can do creatively, whether it's drawing, writing, or whatever, you want to make sure that you're using that. You're not sitting on your gift, okay? Oh, let's read it back. Fun, uplifting ideals follow through my consciousness, and I follow through on the ideals received, bringing them into full manifestation. My business is prosperous. We had this one before, and this is what I'm saying, that um, what I'm doing to me is prosperous. It's something I enjoy doing, and I feel that I'm achieving the goals that I'm supposed to achieve with this. And if you have a business, if you're working in some type of business that you love, um, make sure you're getting everything out of that, that job or whatever you're doing. Make sure you're getting 100% out of it. And that you're happy in what you're doing. I rejoice in other people's successes because I know there is plenty for everyone. I speak and think positively. My current thinking shapes any future. Uh, shapes my, I said any, shapes my future, sorry. If I wear, if I hear myself using negative or limiting words, I change them. So you never want to use negative or limiting words. You want to always think positive. I mean, I know it's sometimes it can be trying, but you want to stay in a positive vibe as much as you can because positive brings positive, Okay. I look for things to be thankful for. So what are you thankful for? You know, there's plenty to be thankful for. So we want to we want to not only look for them, but we want to show our gratefulness for for what we are thankful for, too. OK. I have a perpetual attitude of gratitude. Right. See, being grateful for what you're thankful for. I'm content to be who who and what I am. I live and work in comfort and ease and beauty. Are you living and work in, your, in comfort? You know, are you comfortable in the job that you're doing? My home is a reflection of me and I choose to make it a wonderful place to live. And are you comfortable at home? If not, do you need to do what's necessary to make yourself comfortable? We should always be comfortable in our home. My home is my castle. So I surround myself with things that make me feel comfortable in my home. I forgive myself for any wrongdoing. Sometimes you may do something that wasn't right, was, you know, it could have been the act, it could have been harmless, but it could have been something that was wrong. And it could have been done to someone else. You could have said something out of place that you shouldn't have said. You want to forgive yourself for that. But you also want to go back and make sure that you make amends with the person. Especially if you knew you were wrong. I no longer judge or criticize myself. I am free to love who I am. Okay. I release all feelings of negativity and guilt. And that, that was pertaining to the card. Like we said, we don't want to carry around negative um, 
feelings or guilt because of something. You want to release that. Let it go. We create habits and problems to fulfill a need. When I can find a positive way to fulfill the need, I can release the problem. Okay? I am in sync with the flow of life. Are you in sync with the flow of your life? You definitely want to be in sync with it. I trust that my intuition is always leading in the right direction. If you stay focused and you're striving for your goals and your dreams and aspirations and you're coming from a place of positivity, then your intuition should never lead you wrong. My friendships support me, nourish me, and inspire me. And this is important. You want to make sure that if you have friends surrounding you, that they're doing just this. They support you. They nourish you. They encourage you. And they inspire you to do better. Okay? That's what your friends are supposed to do. They're supposed to be there to inspire, encourage, nourish you, all of that. All that good stuff. If it's not doing that, then that's not a friend. That's not a true friend. Your friends should never be pulling you down. They should never not encourage you. They, you should always have someone to depend on. Okay? And then the final one is choose happiness. So choose to be happy. Make sure you're happy that you're doing things to make yourself happy. Okay? Choose happiness. Work hard. Dream big. We got this before. Up. Oh, stay focused. We got this before too. Stay focused on your goals, your dreams, and what you want to achieve. And the final, dreams don't work unless you do. We did get this one before also. So to my dreamers, I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy day to stop by and listen to my uh, acrostic poem, uh, my post-day uh, treat, which was a poetry that my son wrote me. And the self-love that I, I was able to give today, along with the positive affirmations. Bye, dreamers.